Namaskaram Sadhguru. Thank you very much, uh, A, for speaking to Red FM and B, for gracing our city as well. Tell us, uh, what is it like to wake up as Sadhguru in the morning? You know this person that, that the world reveres, that people have Sadhguru, questions for? Sadhguru is not the person that the world reveres. People revere Sadhguru, that's, that's for them. For Sadhguru, it <laughs> doesn't matter. For Sadhguru, what matters is, to be a yogi is fantastic. Mm -hmm. There is nothing better. But being a guru is frustrating <laughs> I can So I don't wake up as a guru, nor oh. do I go through the day as a guru, nor do I go to bed as a guru. I wake up as a yogi, live as a yogi and go to sleep as a yogi and I'll die as a yogi. Oh. So it's just fantastic <laughs> is, is that simpler you're saying? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Why rally for rivers, you know? We had a meeting near in Tiruchinapalli, where there is this Sri Rangam temple. This is a grand scene, it is a tall tower, temple tower. Normally, in this place, the Kaveri will be a mile wide and the reflection of the temple tower falls on the Kaveri and it's such a grand sight, people used to go there just to see, see it. Really a mile wide river. Today, post-monsoon, after a good monsoon actually. The river is about, let's say, three or four times the width of this room. What used to be one mile wide, rest is all sand. This is a tragedy unfolding slowly, silently rather, not slowly, rapidly, but silently. Just because it doesn't make noise, if you don't pay attention, uh, we will walk into disaster. So that's why the rally. Okay. Um, over the past few days, we've been asking people to, even as a radio station, even as... Um, um, and we've seen a lot of other people also asking people to give that missed call to 8009, 8009. Um, what duration is that for and how does that help uh, the cause? This must happen all before 2nd of October. It can also happen later probably, but it's best it happens before 2nd of October because when we present the policy to the government, to the central government, we also want to present it with the weight of 30 crore missed calls. Why 30 crore is approximately 40 percent of the electorate? Okay. Why we need 40 percent of the electorate is because this policy has a gestation period of fifteen to twenty-five years to show results. Mm -hmm. When there is such a long-term policy which does not show immediate results but it takes so long, if a government has to invest a certain amount of money and go through the many complexities which are involved in execution, it is very important the people of India must clearly say that we want you to think long-term for the well-being of this nation. We have matured. We are not looking for freebies from you, we want something that is for the well-being of the nation and for the future generations because it involves many complexities of execution. No democratic government will usually be enthused to go into something like that unless people are behind it. Mm -hmm. So, people of India, this is our moment. This is our moment, a defining moment in our lives and in the life of this nation are we going to do responsible things or are we going to be a vain generation just doing immediate things for today's well-being and we don't take care of the future well-being of this nation and our children? Is there something you'd like to tell the youth of the country or the, even the city for that matter because… but that they can contribute or do something special even uh, apart from the missed call and apart from the policy, what can we do on a daily basis? we always approach our problems in an emotional way, hmm. not in a strategic way. It's very important if this has to be successful, we must approach this in a scientific and strategic way. Emotional ways of doing things are not going to produce results for us. Last… since I started noticing rivers are depleting in the last twenty-five years, we've planted thirty-two million trees or more than that. But I see that is still not the solution. The solution is only when the entire nation moves in one direction. You do something, I do something, somebody else does something, this is not a solution. 
the entire nation has to move in one direction. If that has to happen, we need an enforceable and implementable policy which considers all the stakeholders involved and it benefits all the stakeholders involved. If we don't do this, then it's not going to work. So right now, the youth, I'm telling you, anyway you love your phone more than <laughs> any, <is> anybody <laughs> in the universe, right? You look at your phone more often than your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, father, mother, more than that, you look so at the face of your reflection. phone more often. So anyway you're in love with your phone, please use it. Make the missed call to so 8009, 8009. And what should I do? I won't tell you. You just be conscious. Is there enough political will, Sadhguru? I mean, at the end of this, have you spoken to our Prime Minister and, you know, the power? There is political will. As I said repeatedly, I'm saying to everybody, this has been a phenomenal run. This is the seventh state that I'm in of the sixteen states I'm covering. In these seven states, they're ruled by six different political parties. <laughs> and all of them are speaking in one voice, supporting Rally for Rivers, and many of them are saying whether the center passes the law or not, we will implement it anyway. So there is enormous political will. The center definitely has the will, but people have to show their will that we are with you. Otherwise, the gestation period is so long, any democratically elected government will hesitate simply because of the length of time that it takes to produce benefits. So, this is a moment that we have to prove that we are a responsible generation. If you have to give a vote in the election, sixty, sixty-five percent of the people go and vote, but they have to stand in long queues. Now, this is on the phone, you are voting for your rivers. I would like to see hundred percent voting. We're going to ensure it for you, Sadhguru. Guru, can I, may I uh, do something called a slam book, which is just, uh, you know, something I do with everyone. It's called my name, just regular questions about you. Okay. Sadhguru, I'm going to say my name, but you will, of course, say yours. My name. You can call me whatever you want. Nickname? My nickname? Yeah. My name is my nickname. I'm using only my nickname, because everybody calls me by my nickname <laughs> generally, so it's... My nickname. Sadhguru is nickname, Jagi is nickname, Vasudev is my father's name. Okay. <laughs> Sadhguru, date of birth? Huh? Date of birth? Uh, what, do, what do I look like, 1756? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to take that guess. Um, favorite ghar ka khana? Uh, you wouldn't know, huh? No. <laughs> because uh, I'm a very good cook. I do, we have your recipes. My mother made them every day for no, me. Not that. That is there. But I can cook something that will enslave you for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> and take you out of your phone once and for all. <laughs> is that the dosa? At least people claim that I make the best, best. masala dosa in the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sadhguru, favorite pastime? So I, can, I can't imagine what must be. Oh, the time passes by itself, I don't have to do anything. So, do you have a favorite street food? Huh? A favorite street food? We always, in, this, in certain seasons in South India, in Bangalore city, there is what is called as Chenakai per se. This means groundnut fair, uh -huh. varieties of groundnuts. Entire market is only different types of groundnuts. So there, they will boil it, they will fry it, they will do many things to it. Normally, boiled groundnut. With the uh, namak, a little bit. Um, but Guru, do you believe in destiny? Hmm? Do you believe in destiny? I make my destiny and I'm helping people to make their destiny. Right now, we're seeing how the nation's destiny could be towards well-being. All right. But Guru, what is your favorite part about Mumbai, my city? Oh, right now where I am, I think uh, being in Raj Bhavan. Thank you so much, uh, Sadhguru, <laughs> for speaking to us. Five.